unconditional love. Bataan, you gave your blue starfish to my nephews and your brightest nautilus to my nieces. You lent your salt to my mother's voice and you gave your road dried rice to her too. You sang my lullabies in Tagalog and Warai Warai under the Southern Cross. I met your star-worn children, collecting like dust along the fields that sparkled with Brahmin and native cattle. You surrendered my dead brother and dead sister to your soil. You sank the venom of a stingray straight through my tatai's palm, banishing him from the sea. I trekked down a hanging bridge to bathe in your stomach, your secret, unnamed river. Oh, Bataan, can you hear yourself? The death march ghosts rise from your prison ground. They echo severe against the fringes of your graveyards like 10,000 carabao rapping in the dark. Oh, Bataan, overcome me and put me in my jasmine-scented place beyond the obsequies, beyond the preapic power plant, killing your coral reef, beyond my father's imperador brandy, his most delicious poison and beloved liberator. I was told by a book or two that all I needed in order to write was a cheap notebook and a pen with free-flowing ink. But how can I write without you behind me, pulling my hair back and exposing my neck like a seedling in the bending wind? How can I write without your comfort women crying into both of my ears? No, I cannot write without your open bay and estuaries foaming against the white sand eager to receive me again. Just lace your lips with mine under the shadow of Mount Samat. Kiss my eyelids closed with your mouth full of seaweed and laughter so that I can forget what you have stolen. Give me a gift wrapped in banana leaves and coconut husk. Tell me it's from a kind Capri living in a mango tree that he wants to make a truce. Tell me it's an offering from the giants that once roamed the beaches, that they are still alive bearing gifts. Distract me from everything with your mythology and terrible histories. Let me just listen and fall asleep under your sky. Let your waves surge between my bones as I sleep with a smile. Just let your pretty roar thunder and strike my heart. Oh God, but the on just split my muscles along each striation, burn my blood and break my ribs. Do what you want so long as you help me forget that you delivered a 10-year-old girl to a bad man with a knife. That he was her father. That the baby is her brother and her son. I'm so angry that you tell me the truth. <laughs>